Welcome aboard the Icon of the Seas, where just about everything you're going to find on board is pretty iconic, just like this monstrosity known as the Pearl. But you may be wondering, Terry, how are the cocktails? How are the drinks on board? Well, we got about 15 of them to show you, and we're going to start with the very first one at the very first bar as soon as you come on board the Icon of the Seas. Addie? That's right, Terry. Icon has something for everybody from bubbles to bourbon. And we're gonna start at the 1400 bar. signature drink here at the 1400 bar is the 1400. It is a variation of a margarita. So if you are a fan of tequila and the whole lemon lime sour, this is the drink for you. Oh, wow, that's really good. It's very refreshing, a very smooth margarita. So if you like a margarita, this is the drink for you at the 1400 bar. Yeah. Okay, so one of the highlights of the 1400 bar is this is the first time they've ever done a bar al fresco. So we're gonna take it outside and show you how you can relax with your 1400 drink at the 1400 al fresco style. I can't let Addie have all the fun. That's why it's time for me to get a little spice. This is, of course, the pub right here on the Icon of the Seas, where you're going to find some really good beers, some really good cocktails. Let's go check it out. Like I said before, the Pub and Feather is gonna be your spot where you come for some good live music, some great cocktails. As a matter of fact, if you're into gin, you can build your own gin and tonic. They've got a lot of different gin cocktails available for you. But I'm going to give the oh, signature <laughs> cocktail here at the Point Feather a try. It is the Stout Espresso Martini. So uh, let's see what that's all about. Ready? Is our signature drink, espresso, stout espresso martini. Oh, looks good. Made by the maestro himself. Beautiful. Thank you, Willie. So if you've ever been to my bar, you know I'm a huge fan of espresso martinis, especially on cruise ships. And some get it right, some, eh, are kind of so-so. But this is the signature stout espresso martini. And it is made with absolute cold brew coffee, Mr. Black Coffee Liqueur, you know that's absolutely one of my favorite brands. Some simple syrup and the Piste de Resistance. It's a little Guinness Stout, so the presentation looks good. I like the ingredients. It's got a beautiful crema. So if you're worried about the Guinness, for those of you that aren't beer drinkers, you don't taste it at all. Actually, it's a really, really good compliment to the coffee liqueur, um, it enhances the flavor. I would definitely say when you're on board the guy kind of the seas at the pub and feather, make this one of your stops. Cheers.
So the signature drink here in Boleros is the Jeropo, and I can't wait to taste it. It's like a riff on a daiquiri, but it's got a coconut twist to it. It's made with coconut rum, coconut water, aquafaba, which is like the vegan version of egg white, and it's also got lime juice and simple syrup, and it's topped with coconut shavings and bitters. Sounds heavenly. So Addie thinks she's special by going over to Bolero's and getting her jorpa or whatever it is. <laughs> but you know what? It's time for a real cocktail, something a little different. Maybe you like marshmallows. Maybe you like a little bourbon, something sweet. Well, here at the Schooner Bar, they've got just the thing. They've got the toasted marshmallow old fashioned and I'm about to go take it out. So James is making my cocktail. James has been amazing all week long. This is the maestro of everything. This is drinks. Is he the 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 old fashioned maestro? Yeah. <laughs> he is the, he, he is the he is the minister of old fashioned. <laughs> and of course, you can't go wrong with a little. Make us good. Buffalo trace, but we'll make it work. Squeeze it so you don't waste it. <laughs> Not a drop. Not a single drop. That was an expert tip. You heard it right there from Jane. And of course, now comes the fun part of this cocktail. Don't play with fire, huh? Only professional. Let <laughs> <laughs> take that Here you go. Thank you. Thank you. And there you have it. Beautiful. Toasted marshmallow old fashioned. So I'm here with my toasted marshmallow old fashioned. Now, when you come to the Schooner Bar, they're going to make this for you a couple of different ways. But uh, by the recipe, it's buffalo trace bourbon, a little toasted marshmallow syrup, some cocoa bitters served with four little mini roasted marshmallows. And when I tell you this has been my favorite cocktail of the trip, how many have you had? Uh, this probably makes number 11. <laughs> so if you're an old fashioned lover at heart, this is where you come for the cocktail. And then there's that part. It's full of surprises. You never know what you might meet and who you might meet at the school. Oh, wait a minute. It's like got a the money to wait. Hold up. <laughs> Say this is a pimp named Slickback. <laughs> yeah, baby. <laughs> so it's time for me to have another quick cocktail. And of course, you can see everybody is checking out a Rover, the resonant K9 on board, the icon of the seas. I would invite her in for a cocktail, but I guess this is something that I've got to do myself. So I'm at Spotlight Karaoke. And um, Addie doesn't do gin, of course. So I guess I have to take one for the team. The signature cocktail here is called the Lavender Haze, and it's a gin cocktail, and we're gonna see what that's all about. I'm starting to lose count of how many we've had so far, <laughs> but it's okay. Knew this was gonna be special because we have the same name, even though his is spelled very uniquely and a lot different, it's actually kind of dope. <laughs> Terrence and Terrence, and he's gonna make me my Lavender Haze. So Spotlight Karaoke is a very popular spot on board the Icon of the Seas. This is where you just come and just let all your inhibitions go. You sing the favorite song of your heart's desire and, you know, well, hopefully you're good at it. But you know what they are good at here? The cocktails. And they've got quite a bit for you. 
Uh, like I said, I'm doing a lavender haze. This is a Hendrix gin uh, with lavender syrup, honey syrup, and lemon juice cocktail. Kind of refreshing, but they've got other things like the Tennessee Bell and the Addie's favorite, the Strawberry Fields, the Tribute. And if you heard me the other night, you know how I feel about that one. Uh, the Metallica, the Wild Boys, Caribou, and the Jack and Diane. So when you're on board the Icon of the Seas and you want to try the signature cocktail, come see my man Terrence and get the Lavender Haze. Hey, it matches my car. Look at this. <laughs> final touch and there you have it the lavender haze at the spotlight karaoke bar all right so let's give it a try the lavender haze good lord that's how good it is <laughs> i almost couldn't stop <laughs> So if you've spent a long day outside and you're hot and you want to cool off, this is a dangerous drink. Let me tell you now. And I think you would even like it. You think so? I, I can I barely taste the gin, but I almost finished that in like one sip. Like, oh, that's dangerous. We'll see. Huh? Huh? Oh, oh, I wait, need wait. a second test. Hold on, hold on. She never does that. No, it's still Christmas trees, but I like the lavender. <laughs> Spotlight karaoke bar. It's a I winner. I may or I may not make that. it to dinner. I could drink that though. Oh, this is, this is good. It is delicious. <laughs> you done drank it. I didn't plan on it, but that thing is good. That was a first. I've never gone through a cocktail that fast, but <laughs> I was told that's not even the one. That's not that's the not one. the best cocktail in Spotlight Karaoke. But I know somebody who's getting ready to make one for me. I want to introduce you to my new friend, Belle. And she says that the eight ball is it's the, the drink to have. Yes. So she's going to show you how to make it. This is a bonus clip. <laughs> Bell, take it away. Spotlight karaoke. Actually, it says gin and Malibu and grapefruit and watermelon syrup. Ooh. But this one you're not going to taste, especially if you're not a big fan of gin, as most other drinks here is oh. made with gin. Gotcha. You're not going to taste this gin. Oh, this oh. is going to be a good oh. one for you. Oh. oh. The challenge is on. Challenge accepted. <laughs> because she does not like gin. I don't. I don't. Y'all know I don't like gin. But this might change your mind right here. Yeah. Well, that one was surprisingly good. Uh -oh. That's what makes it. Okay. 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 Oh. It's looking good so far. Oh, well, that's the. That's the killer. That's your kryptonite right there. I was like, that's the killer. the scene. <laughs> Oh. Mm. It is pretty. Eight a ball. Eight the ball. <laughs> so you guys know us. Some of the best bartenders we've ever met and some of our good friends for years have been from the Philippines and yes. Mauritius. And it just so happened that I realized mm -hmm. that they're both from the Philippines, Philippines and, and Mauritius. Mauritius. <laughs> so we know this is going to be a good cocktail. Look at that. Look at that teamwork. Come on. Teamwork make the dream work. Oh, the eight ball. All right, Addy. We about to find out. Okay. Try it. Okay. Okay. All right. Dun, da, da, da. Mm. It wins because it doesn't smell like gin. But you get a little bit of gin, but she, I mostly taste the grapefruit and the watermelon. So is this? This I could order an this. Addy gin approved. This is an cocktail. Addy gin approved cocktail. I could, I would order this. I, I'm throwing confetti and everything up on the screen right now. <laughs> Belle has made the impossible happen. <laughs> the eight ball spotlight karaoke. She, she, Belle was right. Make it happen. Make it happen. This is mine now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> 
Okay, so this isn't on our list for signature drinks, but it's a bonus because it's a brand new bar located in Central Park. We are at the new and adorable Bubbles. <laughs> This is a new location specific to Icon, located in Central Park, and I'm about to try one of their brand new drinks called the Garden Breeze. Hi, can I get the Garden Breeze? Sounds delicious. Mm. Look at that perfect pour. <laughs> that is beautiful. Okay, so the Garden Breeze at Bubbles looks kind of like a mojito, but kicked up 15 million notches. Oh, that's dangerous good. Dangerous good? <laughs> dangerous good. Like oh, dangerous, dangerous good? My God. You get the passion fruit, mm -hmm. you get that little of mint. The, the what now? Okay. <laughs> the rum is just there as like, hi, babe. But the champagne in there, that's what makes it kicked up 15 million notches. Dangerous good. So make sure when you stop by Central Park, see my man John from Kenya. He's been diligently back here all week. I've been peeping <laughs> him out. And I haven't seen anybody leave here without a smile on their without face. Without a smile. So there you have it. Dangerous good. The Garden Breeze on board the icon of the seas. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're still going and it's my turn again. And this time we're inside Central Park again at the Trellis Bar, which is actually not too far from Bubbles down the hall. So we're at the Trellis Bar and we're trying its signature drink and it is called the Passion Fruit Guava Sangria. Yeah right up my alley. Let's give it a shot. So we were corrected. It is not a passion fruit guava sangria. It's pineapple guava sangria. It's beautiful is what it is. Ooh. This tastes like Boone's Farm from back in the day. It's really easy to drink because it's sweet and it's light, but you, you're going to drink it really fast. Get the stranded burrow. Burrow, which is one of the popular shakes over at the milkshake bar. You can get this as an adult milkshake with a shot of fireball whiskey. What's inside is a vanilla shake with dulce de leche ice cream. It's got a caramel swirl. It's got cinnamon candies and caramel corn on top. Plus donuts and gummies with a little burro. So I can't wait to taste it. And I told you I was gonna have a surprise for you and let you know what was the absolute favorite drink of mine on the Icon of the Seas. And drum roll, that cocktail belongs to the Ryan Bean and it is the Coffee Boulevardier. Now you guys know I am a Negroni master, but when I tried the Coffee Boulevardier here at Ryan Bean, it was really, really good, very well balanced. And I have some beautiful people behind the bar that made sure every single cocktail, whether it was a hot toddy or whether it was a coffee boulevardier or whether it was the chai old fashioned, was a great cocktail. And I want to introduce them to you as they prepare my favorite cocktail on the trip, the coffee boulevardier. Let's check it out. Good evening. Hello, hello. 
Hello, 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 hello. Welcome back. Hello, we got Mylene. And we got our boy Khaled. Khaled. DJ. Khaled. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm going to have another one. I'm going to have a coffee Boulevardier. Yeah. My man Khaled, or Khalid, is a master of the coffee boulevardier. This is the only person you should come see when you want one of these cocktails. Oh, the best. See, that's what I'm talking about. Confidence. He is. Confidence. So for those of you that aren't aware, a coffee boulevardier or a boulevardier is a bourbon uh, riff on a classic Negroni. So he's using Woodford Reserve, Campari, and a little Mr. Black coffee liquid pool. You know it's gonna be a good cocktail. I've invited and sent numerous amounts of people up here, unbeknownst to them, to get their opinions, and everybody that I know has come back for this particular cocktail. Thank you, enjoy a drink. And there you have it. My favorite cocktail, Seven days in on the icon of the seas, iconic voyage with an iconic cocktail, the Coffee Boulevardier from Rye and Bean. You're gonna find this on deck 15 forward in the Aqua Dome. Okay, we're in one of our favorite areas on the ship and that is the Overlook. It is absolutely beautiful back here. And the one drink that you absolutely have to try in this area at the Overlook Bar is the Overlook Spritz. That is the signature drink here. And I can't wait to try it. So Cupid, where are you from? From St. Vincent on the Grenadine. Oh, wow. Teeny tiny island. Yeah. Oh. Let's go to Barbados. Let's go to Dominica. What does Lagoon Liqueur taste like? It's an orange. Paper. Orange flavor. Like curacao? Yeah. Gotcha. I never knew there was another blue lick. <laughs> the first time we get in this one. It's uh, implemented. Uh, gotcha. Uh, okay, so for those of you wanting to know what's in the Overlook Spritz, it's coconut rum, the new liquor that we just found out about, Lagoon Bay Liqueur that he said is similar to blue curacao. It's also got lime juice, coconut syrup, and it's topped off with living coral sparkling rosé, and that's what makes it a spritz. Yeah. Makes it this super vibrant blue color. For those that want to know, are the orchids edible? Yes. Thank you, that is so pretty. There you have it, the Overlook Spritz. Give it a try. I shall. I'll hold on to my orchids. Not too sweet, just enough coconut flavor. And then you get a little tang from that lagoon liqueur that he said was orange. This is good. 